Hello, today I want to show you an additional step for subtracting numbers. Now, someone asked me to address the problem of a number that had a zero in the middle. Because, as you know from before, I showed you that when you do a number, you subtract the number in the middle by one. And so this person probably thought, well, it's a zero, so how can I subtract a number like zero? What you want to do is you want to do it a little bit differently. Now, again, you can do the exact same method. It still works because when you subtract one from zero, it becomes a nine because, in essence, it's in the tens. So it's not really a hard thing to do. But I'm going to show you something that makes it even faster to get your answer. I'm going to use 103 minus 47. Now, what you need to know is your complement of your 47. The complement of 47 is different between 47 and 100. And so that will be 53. So what you immediately do is you disavow anything over the 3. You just take away the, the 10 or the 100 portion of the 103. Just take away that whole portion and leave a 3 remaining. Then you add that to the complement, which is 53 plus 3 is 56. And that's the answer. So is that what to do? All right, let's do another one. Let's do 109. And let's, this time, subtract 68. Again, take away the 100. Just leave your 9. And you're going to give the complement of 68, which is 32. So 32 and 9 is 41, and that's your answer. And one more. Let's do 106, and let's subtract 38. Again, take away the 100, just leave your 6, and the complement of 38 is 62. So 62 and 6 is 68, and that's the answer. It's very easy to do. Now, you need to really understand the simplicity of this makes it so, you know, awesome that you think, I must have did something wrong. You didn't. It's just that simple. When people show how to do things like subtraction, a lot of times they make it harder than it really needs to be, as I proved to you in my last video. So this will just be an additional step that you can use to subtract numbers that are in the hundreds and have a zero or whatever. But it's very simple to understand of taking the complement and then adding it to the number that you subtracted that you take away at least 100. Okay? So, thank you for watching, and I hope that that answers your question. And we will see you next time. Have a great day.